Hi guys, welcome to today's lesson. We're looking at adding and subtracting algebraic terms, one of the, the first big topics, I guess, within algebra when you're first learning. I'm going to take it that you've uh, looked at the basics of algebra, where things like simplifying 3 times a is the same as saying 3a, or 2 times y is the same as saying 2y. They're the very basics. Um, so what we're going to be looking at is looking at, uh, at what a term is and how to add or subtract a term. But before I look at the algebraic terms, what I'm going to look at are some pretty easy examples with simply just numbers. Okay, I'm going to look at the first example, 5 plus 5 plus 5 plus 5. Now, obviously if I asked you to answer that question, you'd say the answer would be 20, which you'd be correct. But I'm going to look at you know, a different way of writing 5 plus 5 plus 5 plus 5. So how else could you do 5 plus 5 plus 5 plus 5 instead of just adding together? What you might say is that because there are 4 lots of 5, we can do 4 lots of 5, or 4 times 5. And then we can write the answer of 20. Okay? If I gave you another question, like this one, where we did 5 plus 3 plus 5 plus 5, plus 3, if we did it the same way, what might you say? Okay, well, in the top one, they were all 5s, and we had 4 of them. So we said 4 lots of 5. But in the second one, we've got 1 5, 2 5s, 3 5s. So we can say there are 3 lots of 5, but we have also got 1, 2, 2 lots of 3 which we can now do that in our head and do 3 fives of 15 plus 6 is 21. So you might be saying, well, why am I doing this step here? Because at the moment, that's you know, quite a long step I have to do. Why can't I just add them together? Well, the problem is going to be when we're looking at algebra, we're going to be looking at letters that represent numbers. For example, I'm going to have this question here, which will look very similar to the one above, except instead of having fives and threes, what I've got here are a's and y's. So this time, instead of having an answer like 20 or like 21, we're going to be having an algebraic answer. So let's first look at it. Before I started circling the, the fives, because the fives are all the same, I'm going to circle the a. Are there any more a's there? Well, yes, there's another A here, and there's another A here. Now, you might be saying, well, while you're circling those, why are you including the plus sign in front of it? Because you notice each time, I'm including the sign in front. And that's because if I've got a number like 5, would that be a plus 5, or would that be a minus 5? Well, that'd be a positive 5. So the sign in front of it belongs to it. And that just helps me when I'm trying to figure out if I'm adding or whether I'm subtracting. So let's go back to my question. I've got a plus a plus a. Well, that means I've got three lots of a, just like above. We had three lots of five, then we got three lots of a. What other letters do we have? Well, we've got the plus y and another plus y. So we've got two lots of y. So you can see this is almost identical to the one above. Except instead of having the 5, I've got an A. Instead of having the 3, I've got a Y. Now, right at the beginning, I, I mentioned about you know, the expectation of knowing a little bit about algebra, where 3 times A was 3A, and 2 times Y was 2Y. Well, that means that we can rewrite this 3 times A just to be 3A, and we can write this 2 times Y just to be 2Y. And that, my friends, would be the final answer. So um, unfortunately, instead of having a number like 20 or 21 as we did above, we have just got a, 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 an expression, I guess, of 3a plus 2y. Remember, algebraic terms, the 3a and the 2y, these are what we refer to as algebraic terms. But the whole thing together, the whole thing together is what we would call an expression an expression, an algebraic expression. Now, it's very important, I'm going to use the word like terms, 
because what we need to look at is we're always looking at drawing together like terms. So you'll notice in that question there, I added all the A's together because they were exactly the same term. Whether A, if A was 5, they're all 5's, etc. If it was 2, they're all 2's, etc. But they're the same thing. Likewise, the two Y's there, they were also what we call like terms. So it, becomes us, it brings us to our first major rule. That when adding or subtracting, Okay, subtracting, we need to add or subtract like terms. Okay, so that's very important, that word like terms. So it means we can only add the A's together, we can only add the B's together, etc. So if we look at a question now, so the example two, we're going to do A. And often what we'll, we will say, it will ask us to simplify. And ask us to simplify because there's not going to be an actual answer. We're just, I guess, making it look a little bit not, uh, neater. So we're going to look at the question. We're going to have 2a plus 3a plus a. Okay. So in this question, let's have a look. Well, we've got two a's there. We've got three more a's there. We've got another a there. Remembering that there's... Here, there really is just 1a. Okay, we don't have to write the 1 there because, you know, 1a is the same as just having a by itself. Okay, so, well, if I've got two of them here, I'm adding three more of them, means I've got five of them, plus one more, I means I've got six of them. So we've got six a's. Okay, next one, so look at this. We'll do five y's um, minus two y's plus three y. Okay, well, again, we've got all Y's, so I can add them all together. So I've got five of them. Now, I'm taking two of them away, remembering the sign in front belongs to it, and it's got three left, but I'm adding three more, means I've got six Y. And realistically, on your calculator, if you want to do this on your calculator, you don't have to, and probably easier not to, but if you do want to, you're just basically doing this. Five, take away two, plus three, which is going to equal... 6. Okay. Now let's have a look at a bit more challenging one now. We're going to have 3y plus 6x minus 2y plus um, 3x. Okay, so this time we've got two different letters. So we've got the, th the y's. So I'm going to put the y's in purple to start off with. So we've got 3y minus 2y. And notice when I'm circling the um, the, the letter again, I'm keeping the sign that's in front of it. You can see how important that plays now. 3y take away 2y is just 1y. Now I've got the 6x plus 3x, which means 9x, and it's a positive 9x, so I put plus 9x there. Now remember, we can also write this just as y plus 9x, because y and 1y are the same. Okay. When you're nearly finished, guys, I'm just going to throw a couple of harder questions in. So, e.g. 3, ask you to solve this question. Okay, we're going to have 3x plus 2y plus 6x plus 3. Okay. Now, you might think, well, this looks very similar to the last question. It probably does, but there's one difference. Okay, well, well let's have a look to start off with. I've got three x's. Have I got any other x's there? Yeah, I've got six x's there. Okay, so let's start with that. We've got three plus six makes nine x's. Okay, let's look at my next letter. I've got a two y. Do I have any other two y's? No. I've got this plus three, but there's no letter there. So it's a different term. So I've got plus two y. And then do I have any other terms there? Yeah, I've got this plus three. Now, notice that this plus three is not a three x, it's not a three y, it's nothing. It's just three. So, we have to tack that on on the end. We can't add it in because we can only add or subtract like terms. So my final answer is just 9x plus 2y plus 3. Okay, 
Um, I'm going to do one more example before I give you a couple of questions. This is a harder one. I'm going to give you 2x squared plus 3x minus x squared plus 6x equals. Okay, so let's have a look at this first one. Now, we've got this x squared business here. Do you remember what x squared means? Well, hopefully you remember the x that if I look at 5 squared, that means 5 times 5. So x squared just means x times x. Okay, it's just another way of saying x times x. It's a little bit neater. So do I have any other x squareds? Well, I do. Now, you might say, but what about all the x's? Well, notice that if I look at 5 and I look at 5 squared, are they the same term? Are they the same number? Well, no. That would equal 5 and that would equal 25. They're different terms. So if I look at x and I look at x squared, they are certainly different terms as well. So in this case, we can only add or subtract the x squareds. So we've got 2x squared minus another x squared, which leaves me just 1x squared left over. I've got the 3x plus 6x, which leaves me with 9x. Alrighty. Okay, I'm now going to give you just a couple of questions to do on your own. So e.g. 4. And then I'm going to quickly go through them. So we're going to have um, 2a plus 6a plus 6. Put that as a, b. We'll have 3q plus 2t minus 4q plus 5t. C, I'll give you um, 5x squared plus 6x minus 3x plus 2x squared plus 5. And the last one, which will be the most challenging, will be 5xy plus 2x plus 3yx minus 2y. Okay, what I want you to do, folks, I want you to pause this now, have a crack at the questions, and then press play, and I'll go through the answers. Okay, welcome back. So let's look at the first one. Hopefully the first one you recognise there was two A's plus six A's, which is eight A's, and then we've got six left over. The next one, three Q's minus four Q's, which is minus one Q, or just minus Q. Then I've got two T's plus five T's, which makes seven T's. Okay, you could have written, or just minus Q plus seven T. You could also have written, 7t minus 1q, or just q. Next one, we've got 5x squared plus, I should get that in there, plus 2x squared, which is 7x squared. I've got 6x minus 3x, which is, well, 6 take away 3 is positive 3, so positive 3x, and I've got this plus 5 on the end, so I'll put plus 5 on the end there. Now, the last one is the most difficult. Now, the first one we've got is 5xy. Are there any other xy's? Well, you probably might say no. But the problem is, there is. There's this thing here, which it says plus 3yx. Now, I know what you're probably saying. Hold on, hold on, Nick. You're saying that I've got xy, I've got yx. They're different terms. Well, if I look at this, we've got 2 times 3. What's my answer? The answer is 6. 3 times 2. Well, the answer is 6. It doesn't matter which way you time these two things, they're exactly the same thing. Hence, if I do x times y, that is the same as doing y times x. So in fact, these terms are the same. So 5 plus 3 is 8xy. You can put yx if you wish, but often I put the x first because the alphabet comes first. Then I've got plus 2x. Well, there are no other x's, so I'll just put plus 2x there. And I've got this minus 2y on the end, so I'm going to put minus 2y there. Alrighty. Guys, I hope you found this useful. Um, please watch the next uh, lesson on multiplying and then dividing as well. Okay, have a great day. Any problems, let me know.